What's going on YouTube? Matt from Garage MC here. A uh, little different video for you guys today. I went to my local Harbor Freight and I went there to get some brake clean and some like little consumables and stuff that I go through like crazy in the garage. Um, yo, these are on liquidation. I don't know if you guys need one of these, but yo, it's a great deal. It was $99 plus tax. Um, I'll show you the box real quick and then I'll toss it together and we'll go over it real quick. Stick around. So 99 bucks guys. They had all different types of colors black red blue green orange I got the orange one. It's you know the other color they had was green I probably should have got that but whatever it doesn't matter anyway I didn't, I didn't want to get black this way I could see stuff that's on it and everything, you know um, 30 inch service cart. Uh, it's lockable. Um, this is what comes in the box. You got the main component with the drawer it's got one, I think that's the lower tray, that's the bottom tray, there's a box of parts and stuff in here I gotta open up, um, and the four legs, that's what comes in the box. Alright guys, so when I usually get something like this that has to be assembled, I'll separate all the hardware, and I'll count it all, make sure it's all here, um, usually in the back of the directions or whatever, it'll give you a list of everything, like, you know, the drawer, the upper shelf, posts are all here, and when you get to the hardware, you got eight of... Eight of these. We got 24 of these. You know, they're, they're all here. I went and counted them, but this is what I do whenever I'm about to assemble something. Just make sure everything's here because that will definitely drive you nuts. So, first thing they're calling for is for the bottom shelf to be assembled with the swivels, uh, the caster wheels. Uh, two of them are lockers, two of them are not. Um, you can really put them in any configuration you want. I'm gonna put both of the swivels to the uh, one side of it. So these just go in with, there's 16 of these uh, small carriage bolts. That's what these go in with, hence the square holes. Um, doesn't call for any washers on the top between this and the cart. It does call them between, for the bottom, between um, the nut and the carriage bolt. Are a 13 millimeter. So the tools you're going to need are uh, a 10, a 13, and a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, guys. So something to note with these carriage bolts: there's a uh, square holes cut in there. So the back of the carriage bolt has a square in it. Um, relax, take it easy. I know you already noticed, but you know, to the next guy or girl that's watching, they might not know. And when you're tightening these swivel wheels down, don't put one in and crank it all the way home. Get them snugged up, get them started. There's no lock washers because these are nylock nuts on the bottom. Just get them all seated, then crank them all down. After we got the casters on the bottom shelf, the next thing that directions calls for is to put the upper shelf on the drawer box. For that, we're gonna need these four bolts. It only comes with four of these. Um, four more washers, I'm sorry, eight more washers and four more nylock nuts. All right, so the top shelf is distinctive from the bottom shelf because it has the U.S. General, which you already know that's quality, uh, emblem, not a sticker, it's an emblem. Uh, you gotta put this on top of the drawer box, line it up with the holes, and then you can get your hand in through the drawer or you can take the drawer out, whichever one you to do. All right guys, so getting those uh, four 13 millimeter nuts and bolts with washer on each side. It was a little bit of a bitch on the uh, top shelf with the drawer. Uh, easier way to do it was to pull the drawer out. You don't have to remove it from there because it already comes in the box, but uh, I just tipped it up on its side like this, pulled the drawer out, and then you had access from the back. So you will be definitely will be needing uh, two 13 millimeter wrenches or a wrench and a ratchet. Um, I used one of these uh, bent style wrenches. It was able to get up in there, get all up in there, and then uh, just like Puddin says, smoke those things all the way down to Alabama, nice and tight now. Next step will be putting the legs on, and then we'll put the side handrails on. All right, guys. So this takes a you know a little bit of patience, nothing crazy, but. Um, when you're lining all these up, it's just uh, the Phillips head screw on the outside, like this, and then it gets a washer and a nylock nut on the inside. Um, I usually put one on the top and one side, one on the bottom and the other side, and just leave these, like, just snug them. You don't have to crank them down this way. You have play for when you go to put the uh, top portion onto the top of this. Um, trust me on that. Just leave them a little loose, 
This way you can get everything to line up, otherwise you will be going back and loosening stuff. And this Harbor Freight stuff is known to not be um, hmm, precision as far as uh, you know how it's supposed to go together. So you gotta kinda finesse it and massage it together a little bit. This one so far seems to be lining up pretty damn good. This has gotta be one of the better items that I've put together from Harbor Freight, unlike my uh, welding cart that I bought. Like none of those holes lined up. I had to like bend the shelves and stuff to get them to line up. And then when you crank it all down, it decides to let you persuade it into being what it looks like on the box or, you know, close to. So let's put the top on now. All right, guys, so I got the top on, got all the bolts at the bottom, all nice and tight. These are all, uh, these are all still loose because I got to put the handrails on, but that is the last item. There's a handrail for each side, grab bar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I like quads, so we'll call it a grab bar. Uh, it's about fitting. So, we put these on. Um, it's just the eight longer um, M8 bolts, I think they are. Alright, so the two handrails were the eight longer bolts that it took. Same thing, washer, nylon nut on the inside. When you're assembling the top on this, you put the, the four front screws and the four back screws in because the side holes are for the handrails. So this is it guys, 30 inch surface cart, it's got the one drawer, um, came with four keys, uh, only two fit it for whatever reason, um, I have no idea why, it says it's supposed to come with two keys, but uh, if somebody else out there bought one of these things and you're missing your, um, oh, look at that, <laughs> that's quality huh, oh alright never mind. this had to be cycled a couple times, bought one of these and you're missing a set of keys, guess what, I got them. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, it's pretty easy to go together. It took me maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes or something like that. The only tools you needed were a Phillips head screwdriver, a 10 millimeter, and a 13 millimeter. And you can put this thing together. But for 99 bucks, liquidation sale, I think that's pretty good. I know this isn't like my normal videos. I just thought it was a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. And uh, maybe you guys would be interested in getting one of these. And for $99, it ain't that bad, you know? It really, really isn't that bad. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Um, if you guys had one of these, is it a piece of trash? Is it like most other things you get at Harbor Freight? I mean, when you're buying things at Harbor Freight, you should just take your standards down a little bit, you know? Don't, don't think you're going there and you're getting snap-on quality, you know, or Cornwell or any of those other, you know, Milwaukee higher name brand tools. Lower your expectations a little bit might be surprised the quality that you do get from there. Uh, this isn't a paid promotion. I just shot there a lot. And like I said, this was, I thought, a good deal. So I wanted to share with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, things that are going on with the quads while I got you on here. Uh, I'm waiting for the owner of this one to have the money to pay me for doing everything I did to it. Um, otherwise, it's just in my way. And this one, I asked you guys what you want. To see with this one, it's a pretty good example of a 95% stock, 2,400X, it's in good shape. Um, somebody did comment and said, do a budget build. So I think that's probably what we're going to do with this. Whether we go all original or aftermarket, I do have extra Lager Plus 2 A-arms that I can put on that quad. I have an extra Tusk extended axle, which these 400Xs definitely need that stuff. They're like very tipsy after coming off the 426 to this i feel like i'm riding a, a unicycle so <laughs> but um throw it down in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for joining me in the garage see you next time